guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting going to episode 10 of Wandering Witch. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Alright, no more sad episodes, horror episodes, just happiness for the last few episodes. <laughs> And let me guess, Saya's gonna meet. <laughs> Alina's there, of course. Like, come on now. They're destined to find each other no matter what. <laughs> mm. Okay. Yeah, because I was about to ask you, like, what specifically is inside of it? And she gonna see her girlfriend again. Because <laughs> it makes the most sense. Like, uh. Ha! Huh. I mean, mm, who knows what the heck is gonna happen with these last, like, not counting this episode, but two, three episodes left, because I think we either have two more weeks or three more weeks left with this show. But, I mean, this show, even though we are not done with it, has been a roller coaster of emotions. I mean, woo, God. <laughs> I mean, we can always still talk about last week and how powerful that episode was that was a real probably the most emotional episode but for me in my opinion it's between that and then the princess killing her dad the two-parter story that came early with the brother and the sister and the sister who turned into a flower and in the end the brother went to go search for her and he died as well but at least they were together I think still those are probably the most emotional powerful episodes and then everything else is just they're still emotional and powerful but they're just more like soft and you it makes you laugh and maybe cry who knows if we're gonna cry today and then the following Fridays but yeah I mean I hate the fact that we're almost done with the show because it feels like we just started and uh, I wish we could have more I wish this was a 24 episode series instead of like a 12 or 13. Yeah, they're basically just going on vacation. <laughs> I mean, she just leaves like a bat out of hell. Of course, because that is her girlfriend. <laughs> Is it weird that I kind of want to know, like, more about these two? And it seems like we're getting that episode, but I also kind of want backstory on these two because they must have known each other for, like, a long time. Well, there you go.
You're like, you say that. That's so mean. <laughs> so no matter what, you have to get along. Well, <laughs> Slap Fran's hand, Jesus. <laughs> Thanks, Sheila. Oh my god, <laughs> Fran is such a tattletale. Oh my god. How did y'all go from like being kind of enemies to being friends? Beef. Mm hmm. Probably not, but. <laughs> huh? With your fist. Thigh. <laughs> uh -huh. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's so pretty. Because that's where they're going. Yeah, because that's all we really try really care about. We care about the money. And then, you know, yeah, let's do that. <laughs> so. Mm. <laughs> She's so curious, just like a daughter. Mm-hmm. 
Mm, that's a smoke before you. <laughs> I know. Oh. By these two. Because we need to see them work together, not only that, and they need to better their relationship. So by the end of this episode, we're going to see these two blossom into a beautiful friendship to what they have now. Okay, but hold on, Sheila, you didn't do anything. Fran was the one who did something. Oh, huh? where'd he go? It's clearly your fault, Sheila. Well, you know what? No, let me take that back. It's really honestly both of their faults because these two are too busy bickering with each other. That's you, right? Damn, even the maid, even the maid. What the <laughs> Where's Sheila, though? Mm. Don't break it. You got 
got captured too. Jesus. I'm thinking you okay. But oh, at least y'all together. Huh. Like I was having like a little bit of hope. Sheila was out here. She was going to find Fran and kick some butt. No. <laughs> Wake up and it's freaking Sheila as well. You gotta be thankful that their master told them to put that on their thighs because no one would ever know. Still gotta take that chance to have a smoke. Mm. <laughs> of course. I mean, why else would she still be here? You know, they could have just killed her if they wanted to, but I, I, it's okay. I would have did it. I'm just saying. You got caught. Mm -hmm. Of course.
Aww. Yeah. <laughs> okay, but... Which makes sense, but okay. <laughs> and you eventually taught her daughter. So yay, it all comes around. <laughs> of course you do, Sheila. You both have. What's wrong? What's wrong? And of course, because Saya is going to be there as well. So then it makes sense for all four of them to all be there next week if we're getting that for episode 11. Okay, so number one, this was a really good episode. I Because it, it's funny how I said, you know, because mm, I didn't think it was going to be this episode. But if we had like a longer series instead of the 12 or 13 episodes that we're getting that, you know, both Sheila and Fran could see possibly a factory with them and how they both grew up to the point where now they're friends and we got it in this episode but still I kind of went a little bit more to see if these two went on adventures together almost like how e Elena and Saya kind of go with their adventures because there's either one or two episodes where these two meet up and they go somewhere together and then the next time we see them they're not together anymore and such but yeah this is a really good episode it's funny because <laughs> The connections. It's so freaking cute that it's not even funny. So you have Elena's mom. And she's the master of both Sheila and Fran. And Fran, in the end, taught her, like, Elena. And freaking Sheila teaches Saya. And, and Saya and Elena are girlfriends, technically. But it's so cute. Like, oh my god. It's just a little small net circle family at the same time. I mean, I love the fact that she gave them the names but they're opposite of each other but it suits them I mean honestly it was really cute because I was not expecting their master to be her mom which it seems like it is because she literally looks just like her and bam I mean that's the only thing I can say she acts just like her I mean dead ass at the end of the day but this was so freaking cute I mean a really super duper adorable episode still want to know what's in that box though but I'm guessing we're not going to see that maybe until next week because this seems like we're possibly getting a two-parter episode with it I'm not 100% sure but we ain't gonna know until we watch episode 11 next actual week but other than that guys that was my reaction view towards episode 10 of wandering witch if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel i make videos every single day join the master squad and of course i will see you guys officially all next friday for episode 11 bye guys